weather is going to shit for the next 72 hours perfect time to dump that uh, KR103 from KUSA into the swamp route in the chamber 72 hours test begins in three two one that's a good dump water is actually clean now and you can see it went hard to the bottom and we'll leave it here secure the anchor and i will see you in 72 hours KR103 from Kalashnikov, USA, back into the program and straight without any further delay, any kind of bullshit, we are going to see if a KR103 is caught for the boating accident. So let's uh, go to the bikini bottom and see our swamp uh, test. Over 72 hours, uh, I hope uh, that the SpongeBob mission was completed. Look, and they see, we'll try to show you guys the footage of uh, the, the water actually is clean on the top and you can see how the life was laying at the bottom. Hopefully you can see it and uh, in the mud. Uh, if not, I'll try to take a picture and at least you will get the idea what's happening. So that's the uh, basically Kawashik of USA <laughs> K at the bottom. Let's try to pull it out and see what we got. All right, this is gonna get ugly, okay? Uh, yep, as always, look at the junk. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, we mudding the waters. <laughs> Let me clean out the muzzle brake because the muzzle brake has some mud in it too. And I don't want to blow up the barrel because of the blockage. So let's make sure there's nothing there. One more time. Yep. Looks good to me. There is an opening. Everything here is looking good. Scope is looking good too. And charging hand all covered with uh, junk, but that's okay. All right, are we ready? All right, well, I said we are ready. Let's rock and roll. I'll move it here. Hopefully there is no cat. All right, bag is empty, I'm all wet, chamber is empty as well. So the Kawashnikov USA completed the SpongeBob mission, very nice. <laughs> Back to the studio in the woods. Boom, plus 72 hours and our rifle performed very, very well, uh, it was a mixture of ammo too, because the tough uh, days are upon us with the ammo. So I put everything to that uh, magazine. That was some Wolf, some Tula and uh, some Fikachi uh, uh, breast cased ammo. No issues whatsoever. And uh, from the surface, what I'm seeing only here, uh, you got a lot of mud and uh, stuff like this and you could see the vegetation on it and the uh, rifle really was in the swamp. Uh, so if you're looking for a candidate to survive the boating accident, KR-103 is looking really good. <laughs> All right, moving forward, zero malfunctions. Zero malfunctions. That being said, when you're doing a magazine dumps and with uh, today's ammo situation, we're not, uh, I, I will talk about it later. Let's put it that way. If you're doing a magazine dumps, uh, this uh, two-stage trigger acts kind of funky. Here is uh, the footage, you can see what happened. Like I kind of, you know, I was moving the finger and then it kind of like resets strangely and you gotta let it go and, and shoot it again. There's nothing wrong with that trigger. Trigger is actually outstanding. But if you're looking for the quick trigger, for a quick, um, the, the, the way, quick way of doing a magazine dumps, you probably will benefit from upgrading to the different style of the trigger. That being said, I like 
the trigger on this rifle. Uh, I think it serves well that well around purpose. You know, let's be honest, with today's prices, not that many people will be doing a magazine dumps, but you can take it to the extended range and uh, that trigger works really, really nice. I like that trigger. But I want to point it out that it acts kind of, you know, that two stage, uh, it kind of slows you down when uh, doing that quick shooting. So hopefully at some point uh, the ammo <laughs> prices <laughs> will stabilize and, uh, you know, you, you guys will be back to the fun and all the fun games and everything. Uh, but zero malfunctions, zero malfunctions across the board. And as I said, I was forced to use the, the mixture of the ammo. Uh, I mixed all the loose ammo I could find and I keep throwing at it different magazines and uh, that rifle cycles perfectly. So for sure, two thumbs up uh, from that perspective. I, I, I think this is a very, very nice shooter. Also with the OSS uh, Helix can, no issues whatsoever. Uh, there is no extra back pressure. It uh, functions really nicely. That recall, recall spring uh, is doing a nice job and it really is a pleasure to shoot that uh, rifle. But enough with the bullshit talk let's see what we got inside uh, because this is what really matters uh, to all of you guys right so let's see this is our annihilator combo shameless plug uh, for the AKOU store thank you for your support guys uh, without you i don't know how we will how we will survive uh, these days it's it's really ridiculous what's happening uh, and, uh, with uh, the ammo prices, uh, with gun prices, everything is going uh, insane. All right, recall spring. There is some rust, <laughs> look at that, but that was expected to happen, guys. There is some rust, surface rust from the swamp. SpongeBob wins again. <laughs> Let me see the bolt carrier and the bolt. Uh, I did put some oil on the on the bolt and the bolt carrier uh, after I removed the rifle from the swamp uh, because uh, we don't want to have any rust problems uh, which are forced by the swamp. But uh, the, well, I will start with the bolt, okay? The locking locks on the bolt are looking awesome, guys. This is the perfection of uh, flat surfaces, no steps, no deformation. This is all looking great. The extractor claw is looking beautiful too. And the firing pin still loose, free floating. And everything here is looking good. If you see something which I missed, let me know. Also, switching gears and moving towards the bolt carrier. There is some little splash deformation on the rear bore, uh, bolt end, but that doesn't worry me a bit. This is actually looking really good and I don't see uh, this to cause us problems. Everything here is looking good. Uh, the caming channel is looking good. Uh, wobbling on the piston head, which is absolutely normal. Uh, some surface rust, again, I think probably from the swamp, but that's not the best. <laughs> Still, look at the vegetation from the swamp on the side rail. <laughs> Can make this shit up. All right, the right side of the trugon. Right side of the trugon is looking wonderful, guys. You can literally eat from it. Uh, the flat, like a table, this is looking really good. Uh, left side, bump rivet is holding up. And the quick look into the chamber. Chamber is looking good too. Now let's see what we got at the bottom. And let me catch the sunlight. Everything here is looking great at the bottom of the trugon. I will check the rivet since I got the rifle there is <laughs> again the vegetation squished uh, and like it's like completely flattened out under the Mac release catch. Uh, but going back to the rivets, rivets are looking good, rivets are looking good. Uh, speaking about the rivets, let's check all the rivets, everything here is holding up. Nothing is trying to escape, so this is all looking good. Trigger, I talk about the trigger, it's a kind of two-stage trigger on this, really nice. Retainer plate, uh, some surface rest, rust on the parts, but again, this is what you got from, uh, you know, forcing the boating accident. <laughs> so be prepared. Let me open the lever. Oh, the lever is completely covered. Again, with vegetation from the swamp. All right, 
gas tube is out. Wow, oh, the mud on the barrel and inside the handguard. That's fine. Uh, here's the pirate R for the Pirates Union. And everything inside the gas tube is looking good with the exception of dirt and mud, which is normal. Uh, I talked about the barrel already. That K mark on the barrel, proof mark. Gas black. Gas black is looking good. Uh, is that? No, it's not the rust. It's not the rust. It's just, it's just the gunk from the gases. It's full because we're shooting. We're still shooting, guys. I don't know for how much longer we manage uh, to to go like that. But uh, because uh, you know it, it's getting ridiculous. But we're still shooting. Uh, pins, pins on the front post, pins on the gas block. Everything here is looking good. A little bit loose fit on the cleaning rod, but that's that's normal. That's okay. Let me take off suppressor and see how that flash hider from OSS in 24 millimeters is looking like. Well, <laughs> all right, there is some gunk on it. But it's looking very good. And uh, the suppressor is doing a great job saving my ears. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, this is looking very good. We, uh, the rear trunnion, the rear trunnion is looking, I think it's looking good too, yeah. Rear trunnion is looking good. One more test before we'll clear it for the next round. Uh, let me set up the rifle with uh, the no-go gauge and uh, we'll go from there. No-go gauge on the bolt face of KR-103. I'm putting my thumb on the back of the bolt carrier, slowly moving forward. Increasing the tension and pressure on that back and nothing, guys. There is no way that this, was, this is going to close. One more time, no way. The no-go gauge is not closing. Amazing, right? Check this out. Very nice, very nice. Good performance from... KR-103 Kalashnikov USA and that rifle is cleared to advance to the next round. Thank you for watching. As always, thanks for being with us, guys. Uh, thank you for supporting AKOU. Uh, tough, tough months ahead of us, but uh, we'll make it through, I promise. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so actually gun grabbers from the YouTube will let you know that the AKOU posted a new video and uh, you can stick it to them. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next episode, bye! Kinda my fingers fall down there. Getting weak on that pinky.